What's up everybody, this is Corey Emission Side Hustle and as you know, I am on a mission to grow $500 to $1 million. Today guys, we're finally doing it. We're finally gonna upgrade from that Ranger that is really rusty. A lot of you guys have been asking when we're gonna upgrade, when we're gonna get a trailer, and that's all in the works here. So stay tuned, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss what we buy. I think it's a really nice ride and I think it's gonna last us for a long time going forward here. Before we dive in guys, please do not forget to go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for more videos like this in the future. I would really appreciate it. And Last thing, as a reminder, y'all, the current channel net worth is $9,077. Let's get to it. We've got a beautiful rainy day here in Florida. There's a small hurricane off the coast coming this way. And today, we're gonna take our beloved rusty truck and sell it to pick up an upgrade. Let's go. Woo! It is a rainy one out there. All right, so here's the deal. We are in the truck now. Uh, like I said just a minute ago, there's a small hurricane off the coast of Florida. It's a category one. It's about to downgrade into a tropical storm. So safety wise, I'm not very concerned going out today. And even still, it's it's not even gonna be here having impacts for another probably two or three hours. So I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna drive and meet this guy. He's at his work right now, but he's gonna come outside, meet me on his lunch break. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and make the sale here. And then I don't have a ride, so I'm just gonna catch an Uber back home. Let's go ahead, I've got, let me see. I've got the... Uh, Got the title right here, had it inside my jacket to keep it dry. We're ready to go ahead and make this sale because guys, I've told you before, I really wanna go ahead and upgrade, get something with a bit more ability to tow because right now, uh, this truck is perfect for going ahead and delivering small things with this truck bed, but it is a very rusty truck. Maybe it can tow, maybe it can't, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk putting any kind of heavy weight on the back of this thing, so I wanna go ahead, pick up a new truck here in a little bit. It's gonna be a nice upgrade, whatever it is. I haven't decided yet, but whatever we upgrade to, it's gonna be a really nice ride. Can't wait to get it. Oh yeah, tires were looking a little low, so I'm gonna go and fill it up real quick. What a nice guy. Oh. There we go. Alright. Oh god, dude. So much puddles everywhere. I'm not gonna say anything about the rain anymore. <laughs> this is just the way of life at this point. <laughs> Look at this message I just got. Look at this message. Scrolling through Facebook and I knew I recognized this truck. I really enjoy Mission Side Hustle. Keep up the good work. Shout out Nolan! What's up, man? <laughs> Dude, that is, that's amazing. That's some funny stuff right there. Thanks, Nolan. All right, guys, I think I'm pulling up right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find a parking spot and just shoot this guy a message real fast and see if I can get him to come outside and meet me out here. So, let's see what happens. What's up, man, how you doing? I'm gonna hang out under the tree. <laughs> so he picked a great day for this, right? Yeah, no. I'm Corey. Nice to meet you, man. So, I have the key in it and everything if you wanna Look at it, start it, even if you want to drive it up and down the street or anything like that. All it's right. up to you. Yeah, you want to like, you take up the road or somewhere to drive. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Good. You can go over there real fast then. Could you do like nine? But I, I could come down, like I said, I come down to 12 if that, if that could work for you. I don't feel like we're too far off. Most I could do is like a thousand, honestly. I don't want to waste your time or mine. I'll meet you in the middle of 1100. 1100? Yeah. About 1050. Gotta do 1100. 11. <laughs> Let's do it. Looks like a half, man. 1100. It's it's, it's right, a good I'll deal. I'll do 11. All right. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call an Uber. Let you get back to work. And uh, just appreciate you meeting with me again, man. All right. Oh uh, yeah, no problem. All right. Sounds. Good. I left that sticker on there too for you. This might be a collectible item one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you, dude. All right. Gotta call an Uber. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, the rain. I look like I'm homeless. <laughs> oh, that tree. That tree looks dry. Oh no, no, no. That's the move right there. There we go. Parking spot. Oh, I forgot my. I forgot my plate. Hey man, I forgot one thing. I forgot the plate out the back real quick. I know I've done a lot of complaining about rain before, but this is. This takes the cake. <laughs> Walter coming in clutch, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. While we wait for my man Walter to come pick me up uh, in this wonderful storm here, let's just go over that deal real fast. So what we did is I came here, 
he looked at it. We went somewhere dry uh, with an overhang at a gas station so we could kind of like get underneath and look at the, the undercarriage because that was, I always knew that was going to be the really big concern for people with this truck is how rusty it was and that was mine too. I just didn't, I wasn't as picky when I bought it because I just knew what I wanted to do with it which was just deliver furniture. So some other people that are going to be much more picky and I understand, you know, I understand why. Went to the gas station, he checked it out, did a test drive back to where uh, we are which is where he's working and when we got here the negotiation started. We came to 1100, he tried to get me to 1050, wasn't doing it and 1100 was that final number so we bought it for 1200 we sold it for 1100 it did what i needed to do which has helped me make these deliveries and i was willing to go ahead and take a hundred dollar loss on it because i just want to move into something that is a sure bet for me going forward 100 bucks in the big picture is nothing that's a drop in the bucket so i'm not worried about losing 100 bucks in the truck at all but you know what i'm gonna miss that little ranger we had some good times we had some good times indeed Walter's gonna be here in just a few minutes, pick me up, and uh, I say Walter like he's my best friend, but he is my Uber driver, and right about now he feels like my best friend because I'm stuck out here in the rain. Walter! Hey, Walter. Hey, How's it going, man? Oi. Thank you so much. You just saved me in the rain. <laughs> since I sold that uh, truck. I really wanted to get another vehicle because obviously I can't do a lot of the things I like to do without a vehicle. And hopefully we're gonna buy it because I've got some cash in hand and I'm ready to close up the sale. My family's going to the grocery store real fast, but on the way there, they're gonna drop me off because this place is like one mile down the street. Hey, you going to the grocery store? What are you gonna get? Um, maybe some chocolate. Maybe some chocolate. So chocolate cashews. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'm right in the back. I can see I can see the hierarchy of where I'm at in the family. That's the van right there. Yeah, baby. Pop me out of this joint. Release me. Alright. Yeah, leave me stranded. I'm Corey. Albert, nice to meet you, man. So looks pretty good. I like it. What did you use it for before? Uh, I do construction. Oh, do I you? Still use it. Okay. The only issue right now is that AC is going in and out. Okay. And uh, there's actually a transmission solenoid that's also starting to go out. Let's take it. Let's take it for a quick spin. I am interested. I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. So here's the deal about that van. I really like it a lot, or maybe I just like those vans in general a lot. I'm not really sure. I like it. The only thing it has a few more problems in person than I actually expected but I think that's maybe kind of common for trying to buy a used vehicle, especially in like the $4,000, $5,000 price point. He kept talking a lot about a trans, uh, transmission solenoid. I don't know a lot about it, but I, I'm gonna do a little research before I do anything. And we, we are so close to each other that I just had him drop me off at my house um, after I was done looking at it. So I'm gonna do a little research here. I don't know if I'm gonna go with that yet fully or not. I wanna find some things out first, uh, but he talked about that transmission solenoid and he talked about the air being a little, air conditioning being a little iffy. So the problem is, man, I've gotta do something soon. I can't keep waiting. I can't, I can't not have a vehicle for Mission Side Hustle. I need to make something happen here pretty soon. I just don't wanna get caught into a situation where I spend four, $5,000 on a vehicle and then have the transmission break like a month later. So I just want to be very careful as I proceed here, but we're going to make a move here really, really soon. So let me head inside, start doing a little research and see where we go from there. Later. All right, everybody. So we've been searching high and we've been searching low and I think we finally got a vehicle that's going to replace that Ranger. So I've been on the hunt, man. And I got to tell you guys, it's not easy finding a used truck that I trust for about that $6,000 price range. But I think I've stumbled across something that could really work out well for me here. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about it real quick and then we're gonna hurry up and go and get it. It's a long drive. Uh, it's about a 45 minute drive. But here's the details. We've got up on deck, we've got a 2001 Toyota Tundra, regular cab, long bed, gold. It's, this thing's a grandpa truck. There's nothing special about it except for one thing, one thing. It's got 36,000 original miles on it. The guy said it sat for a long time, did a lot of work to replace a bunch of stuff to get it running really well, and it's a V6 model, it's not the V8, so it's not quite, uh, it's not quite as sought after as some of those other models, 
but I think this thing's gonna run really well. And these Toyotas, man, at this, these early 2000s like this are legendary for the reliability. So what I'm looking for in this truck here, something that can tow a little bit, something that's affordable for where I'm at in the channel's journey right now, and something I can trust for reliability, because I want to keep this truck for a long, long time. I don't want to get into a truck that's got like 150,000 miles on it or higher because you just don't know how long it's going to last. But this thing with 36,000 original miles, this should be a really good one. I've thoroughly vetted this deal. I would not be going this far if I hadn't lined it all up perfectly. I've talked to the guy on the phone. I've gotten extra pictures. I've gotten the Carfax, all these different things. I've done as much as I can. We've already lost daylight savings where I'm at, so the sun goes down at like really early, like 5.45, it's starting to go down here. When I get there, it's, it's kinda already, the sun's already gonna be down. We're meeting in a public place, we're meeting right out front, first row at a Publix. You just wanna be careful, you know? You wanna be careful when you're doing stuff like this, and I would never go somewhere that's like at someone's house at night, you know? You just never know who you're gonna deal with. Worst case scenario, man, we bust it, and we have to get an Uber back. So let's go ahead and get this Uber, and hit the road. Here we go. $35, let's go. Hey, how's it going, man? Core? Yes, sir. Hi, really, Gore. right? Yes, sir. All right. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing there? I'm all right. I appreciate the ride. Yeah, man. Have a good night, all right? Be safe out there. Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, Thanks for waiting on me. I know it was a little while to get the whole thing done and everything. It's tough getting up here sometimes. Corey, nice to meet you. It's a baby. Yeah? Bold as a baby. Okay. That's what I like about these early 2000s, you know, Man, these Toyotas. I put this on the... I see you're recording. Is it okay? Yeah. I'm just doing... Yeah, yeah. Um, change the oil. We did all the tune-up on it. We did uh -huh. antifreeze, belts, rotors, brakes, and you. I and just it's a, it's a clean title and everything. There's clean nothing... Clean yeah. title. I, just, I, I also feel better, by the way. You're here with your family. Yeah, like, that's a good I sign. I know. <laughs> so... I haven't been nobody else. I've been it. It's good, man. I like it a lot. Easy, man. Quick little ride, man. I'm not too familiar with the area. Is there anywhere I should go in particular? Just, just click around? Yeah. Give me gas. I'm just going to give me gas. It's a six cylinder. Yeah. Oh, it'll screw the tires. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's caught. That's. Uh yeah, like I said, I don't care literally about anything but how reliable it is and does it drive. Cool, man. We'll let you guys get to it. I know y'all are ready to get going and stuff, so. Hey, I can't work. I've been at work since 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. All set? Well, thank you guys very much. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. the new ride here and I'll tell you what I know it ain't the prettiest thing in the world I know it's not and I'm okay with that I'll tell you guys the truth I'm okay with that it ain't very pretty but man with this thing with the mileage it has this truck's gonna last forever so I'm gonna show it to you guys real fast here I, I'm just gonna walk around it I know a lot of you guys uh, I bought this thing for six thousand and one hundred dollars I know a lot of you guys half of you are gonna say oh Corey you paid too much money and the other half you're gonna say why wow, you got a great deal but the truth is man I'm willing to overpay sometimes, I really am. I'm willing to overpay on certain items or pay market rate sometimes if I feel like the convenience and the value is really gonna be there for the long haul. So for this situation, guys, I could have spent way more time trying to find a truck that was a steal, uh, but the reality is I wanted to cut to the chase. I wanted to get a truck that I could get moving on real fast, and I wanted to feel something that I could feel really comfortable with, knowing that I'm not gonna have problems here in the near, near term. There's probably gonna be some maintenance, of course, uh, but I don't expect anything major with this truck, like maybe I would've got something with a lot more miles that could've gone wrong much earlier on. So, feeling very comfortable here. Uh, but there's a couple expenses this episode, so let's talk about it. We did have to go ahead and get an Uber the first time for $16 when we sold the truck, a new Uber for $35 when we bought the truck, $42 for insurance to go ahead and insure this thing right away, and then $8 for a temporary tag. That temporary tag is gonna give us 30 days so we don't have to drop all that money right away with the registration. Gives us a little time to go ahead and make some more sales and earn some money to really offset those costs. So when you take up all those expenses, you take it, you subtract it from our original net worth, we have a new channel net worth of $8,876. Man, I'm so pumped up to have this thing. This is gonna last us for a long, long time and it opens us up to a lot more opportunity. More to come on that. Anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.